have your container. Now, we did take some of the, the bubbles out of this, right? Mm -hmm. But what would, you do, what would happen, do you think, if you dropped some of your uh, Mentos? You're talking with your mouthful like I am, and you shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> and you accidentally drop your Mentos out of your mouth into the jar. You want to do it? No, no, no. That's gross. Oh. <laughs> I was all ready for it. I know. You're such a good assistant. But <laughs> just drop a Mentos into your jar. What I really want you to do, examine like a scientist. Can you see it? <laughs> what do you observe the, me the Mentos are doing? They're dissolving. You see it? They look like they're dissolving. Are, is anything, does it look like something's coming off of the Mentos? Yeah. A liquid? A, a, gas. a solid? A gas. Do you think the Mentos have gas in it? When you eat one of these, does it make you want to burp? No. No, so where's the gas at? In the pop. It's in the pop. So, as much as it looks like the Mentos have gas on it, or in it, it's actually just taking the gas out of the pop. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Well, let's kick this experiment up even more. Let's kick it up a notch. What would happen if we dropped several Mentos into a bottle of pop? What, would you, what do you think will happen if gas is coming out? Leave Would it be gas? me making a mess like I did with the salt? What do you think? Well, I this is a very, very, oh, I'm sorry, what do you think? Now, this is a, no, wait, I'm sorry, what did you, what, what did you think? <laughs> I thought it was going to fizz more. You think it's going to fizz more? Because it's in a bottle. Why? Smaller area. Smaller area right here at the top? Yeah. Oh, very, very scientific. Good observation, Amanda. This Mentos Pop exper experiment is one that has been around for several years. Um, it's a really fun one, but I encourage that if you do this, do it outside. I'm using a small bottle and we're going to use a controlled amount of Mentos. <laughs> and we'll see in a video in a second what happens when you use a larger bottle. Okay? So what I want you to do is take four Mentos out of the box and put it inside this tube. All right. This experiment is so popular that when you buy Mentos in the store, they're now selling them with tubes that you can put Mentos in <laughs> specifically to drop into your bottle of pop and do this experiment. <laughs> it's a really cool. popular science experiment. But now you know that the carbon dioxide in water, now you know how that works. Don't do it yet. What I want you to do now is also is open up that bottle of pop. No, do it while you're holding on to this. Oh, okay. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> you can set that down. <gasps> you're such a good assistant, Amanda. Not much left of our carbon dioxide in the water. And these Mentos are still bringing bubbles out of the, out of the pop. Quite a lot of bubbles. Quite a lot of gas. Oh, wow, you're fast. Okay, <laughs> hold on. I'm going to set this down. Should we get paper towels at ready? Yeah. You get some on your side, I'll get some on my side. I'm going to hold this right here. I like to use these plastic test tubes, but you can use, you know, whatever tube that will deliver your Mentos into your bottle. Whoops. What I want you to do is you're going to set it on the top with your finger and then slide it over and let go. Uh -huh. Now, don't get excited that you're going to not put all of them in there, but do your best delivery. All right. <laughs> wow. 